Here's the full history of Fry's lack of a Delta brainwave. Around 3002, Fry and the gang are sent back in time, landing in New Mexico in 1947. While there, Fry accidentally facilitates the death of his own grandfather. Foolishly thinking this means his grandmother is not his actual grandmother, he sleeps with her, becoming his own grandfather. This is why Fry has no Delta brainwave. In 1999, Nibbler pushes Fry into a freezer tube so that he can use his abnormality to help save the universe in the future. Eventually, Fry goes back in time and nearly stops Nibbler, but decides going back to the future is worth it. Around 3001, aliens called the Brainspawn attack Earth and make everyone stupid. Because of Fry's lack of a Delta brainwave, he is immune, and he drives the Brainspawn away. Around 3003, the Brainspawn return, having nearly collected every piece of information in the universe in their infosphere. Fry is able to infiltrate and plants a bomb, banishing the Brainspawn to an alternate universe. Around 3009, Fry joins the Legion of Madfellows, a group of mind-reading kooks. Because of the brainwave, Fry's thoughts cannot be read. He then saves the universe once more by helping to defeat the Dark One, a mind-reading ancient being who is incapable of reading Fry's thoughts. And that's it for now.